It's Bonnie. Happy Friday night. Happy candle day. What the heck is going on with the Bath and Body Works site? I swear. I was on. Hot Buttered Rum was sold out. I refreshed. Hot Buttered Rum is available. And now Hot Buttered Rum, I refreshed again, is sold out. Um, there's something weird happening with the site right now. I don't know if they're just updating it. Pineapple Mango is back. I know Pineapple Mango was sold out before because I had that on my list. And, oh no, Hot Buttered Rum is now available again. So I'm not sure what's happening. I'm not sure if you're able to add these to your cart or not. Pink Fairy Gumbo Drop is now available <laughs> again. So if you're trying to shop online for the 1025 price, keep refreshing, keep trying, because it seems like they might be doing a restock. It changes. Like there were 77 candles available. Now there's 83. It was 92 about five minutes ago. So I'm not sure what's happening, <laughs> but it could be good for all of us if we want to do another order tonight at 1025. Because tomorrow, I noticed on Canada, they've got like Merry Maple Pancakes. They've got all the scents that we've been wanting, the toasted praline one. Um, I'm kind of curious if they're going to add those to the site tomorrow at a higher price point. I said that before. It could happen. I believe they did that in the past where they would like raise it by a dollar or two, but then they added new candles and then did another sale. So keep your eye out on the site if you're trying to order. Keep trying because it looks like they're restocking um, as we speak. I also did a poll in my community tab on YouTube. I was just curious. So um, the questions I asked were, how are you shopping Candle Day? And 29% said in store, 25% said online, 15% said both in store and online, and a third, 31%, almost a third, said they were skipping Candle Day this year, um, and that was out of 616 votes. So I kind of get it. I understand why people might be skipping this year, because we did have a lot of repackaged and I know there was a little bit of um, kind of wonkiness on the ordering last night. Or it does seem like a lot of people had good experiences in the store. If your store was one of them um, that didn't have a lot of people. And it seemed like a lot of stores were kind of light. So an interesting candle day this year. I'm not exactly sure um, why people weren't going into the store as much. If it was a regional thing, if it's a COVID thing, if it's maybe just a combination. But I am going to try, try to get into the store tomorrow. I really want to see if they have any of those new scents, um, the Merry Maple Pancakes, any of those. I, I, I really, I gotta know. <laughs> so I'm gonna try, you guys. We shall see. Oh, by the way. Uh, bracelets, check it out. Um, if you are brand new to my channel, I do have an Etsy store and my mother, my daughter, and I make handmade beaded bracelets. The Christmas bracelets are now 40% off in the Etsy store, so I have the link below if you're interested. I worked on Christmas cards today. <laughs> I'm going to review Wine Cellar. I've got Wine Cellar burning here, but first I want to show a couple of Christmas cards. I'm so behind in Christmas cards. Oh my gosh. Check this one out, you guys. It's a musical Christmas card with a snow globe. It is from Crystal and Dawn. How cute is this? I got that one. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this cool glitter dog card. I absolutely love this one. This is from Janie. Thank you so much, Janie, for this beautiful glitter doggy. I got um, Christmas is the greatest day in the whole world. It sure is. Um, this is from Marley. Thank you so much, Marley. Got a little joy to the world. This is from Jason. Thank you, Jason. I got your email, by the way. I am sending a card out. Got the cards already. <laughs> Next up, we have Yuletide Greetings. How pretty is this card? I love this card. This is beautiful. This is from Katie. Thank you so much, Katie. I will do one more. It's a fuzzy one. Oh my gosh. I love these 3D cards. This is so pretty. Um, this is from Darlene and Stephanie. Thank you so much. So each video, I'm going to try and show a couple more cards. I got to go to my PO box. 
I got a mail cards. I got a lot to do this weekend, including going to Candle Day. So now I'm going to get to Wine Cellar. Oh my gosh, you guys. So yesterday when I was in the store, I actually checked out and then I was as I was leaving, I looked to the right on the wall in White Barn and what do I see? I see a wine cellar. Oh my goodness. Is this the front? Where's the front? The front says wine cellar on it. So this is a candle that Bath and Body Works has had out numerous times over the past couple of years. It has been a white barn candle. I think I last saw it in the store maybe like two years ago. I will put a screenshot up. This is the white barn version. And then it was here a couple of years before that. I will put another screenshot up. Really pretty red. Um, so the scent notes in this one are very unique. This smells like a really high-end candle. They are mulled apples, fresh fig, and cedar wood. Oh my goodness. I like wine candles. Um, even though I don't really uh, drink wine. <laughs> I'm not a wine drinker. It, it gives me hives. <laughs> but uh, Kringle's got these really amazing, huge wine candles. You got to check them out. They're gorgeous. And wine cellar does smell really good. I love the way the cedar wood mixes with the fig. It's got a very unique scent. It is deep. It is rich. It is layered. And like I said, this really does smell like a really high-end candle. It's beautiful. The bottom of this is a really heavy glass um, this looks like a candle that you would buy, um, like at an exclusive boutique. It's really pretty. And, um, these are actually only, for some odd reason, they're $26.50, which I find odd because these are $27.50. How weird is that? Sure, why they have the odd uh, price points, but these are $27.50. Those have the glass lid. Um, the only difference is, these do not have a glass lid. They just have a regular white barn lid on them. But the container is beautiful. Like I said, it's a really heavy, nice glass. I'm getting a great bird on this one. And it does have a very rich, fruity, mulled apple, a little cedar wood mixed in there, rich scent. Um, the throw on it's really strong, too. I am loving this one. Um, the only problem with this candle is apparently it's hard to find. So they also, in this style, have winter and flannel. They had all three of them at my store, except they were full price yesterday. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gotten all three. But if you can find these for candle day, look on the sidewalls in your white barn. They could be hiding out. But this is one that you might want to try. And then once you burn this one, I'm going to keep the jar. The jar is beautiful. I'm going to see if I can uh, recycle the jar on this one because it's so pretty. So anyway, a lot going on today. Um, if anything happens tonight, like later tonight, like we get news of a new sale tomorrow, I will be on to let you guys know. I hope Candle Day is going well. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.